Aster 70s is a landmark study for the older population with breast cancer. Older meaning age 70 and older, with the most frequent phenotype of breast cancer at this age, which is ER positive, estrogen receptor positive, HER2 negative breast tumors. And in whom we uh, used a genomic uh, grade index, a gene signature, to select those who were at higher risk to test the additional benefit of chemotherapy in addition to endocrine treatment. So we, why, why is that? Because I think this population is really, uh, has been left behind in many investigations since a long time. And the role of adjuvant chemotherapy remains controversial because of poor presence of data in the literature, or when present, raising many questions of toxicity or related to comorbidity, which is uh, uh, something which increases with age and uh, compete with uh, cancer in terms of prognosis. So we set up this trial really to try to reverse this uh, uh, unfair and irrational situation. And um, we aimed at uh, enrolling 2,000 women after going for curative surgery for this primary tumor, uh, screening for the genomic grade index. And those with a tumor with a low genomic grade index, low GGI, were spared chemotherapy, while those with a high genomic grade index were randomized between endocrine treatment alone as a standard arm or chemotherapy followed by endocrine treatment. And we enrolled in four years between uh, April 2012 and 20, April 2016, 2,000 women and of them 1,100 had a high genomic grade and were, rando were randomized according to these two arms, chemo or no chemo. And so the main results is that uh, according to uh, the, the, main, the primary endpoint was overall survival. And the main result is that uh, those selected with a high genomic grade did not show a significant uh, benefit from adding chemotherapy to endocrine treatment. That's the main message. That's a message of caution, meaning that even if you, you uh, used uh, uh, a powerful tool to uh, select uh, those cases with a poor prognosis or a worse prognosis. Uh, uh, adding systematic chemotherapy doesn't, doesn't correct easily, uh, the, the, doesn't improve easily the, the, the results, the outcome. First, we have a large collection of data that we have. Uh, uh, collected longitudinally in the randomized population with uh, data on uh, quality of life, on uh, geriatric aspects, treatment acceptability, socioeconomic data. And so, so we are going to, to, to be able to, to analyze a bit further these results to try to identify if some of them, uh, some of these patients could benefit, derive a, a, a benefit, marginal or a bit more than marginal, uh, uh, from chemotherapy. So there is plenty of correla cor correlative works that we're going to be able to do, especially because we have a large biobank also uh, associated with the, the population. One uh, uh, last aspect which is really important for this study is that we, we try to revolutionize the concept and the design of clinical trial in this older uh, population. Uh, how, do, how did we do that? Uh, we, uh, we, we chose, we, we deliberately chose to uh, make more flexible the inclusion criteria. We used, uh, we, we tried to simplify the process of participating to the trial using a single informed consent for screening with the GGI and randomizing when a, a high GGI was observed. And uh, finally, we, we also um, incorporated many uh, uh, information collected uh, longitudinally uh, to document uh, all aspects of quality of life, which was uh, is so important at this age in this population.